what is up guys welcome back to mr tech boss as you can see this is my redmi k20 pro redmi android 11 and this is thanks to a dev named abhishek Agarwal. so yeah he has done an amazing job and just like two three days after the official release he made the rom available for every device so without any further ado let's get right in So guys, basically let me tell you guys right now that I do not recommend you guys to flash this ROM because there are no Google Play services available for Android 11. So that, that is the biggest bummer as of right now. So if they're available, you can actually flash it. But once you flash it, you need to flash this ROM and uh, the latest wonder first and then this ROM and make sure you're not encrypted. If you are encrypted, you will need to format data. And if you're not, and if you're using Orange Fox, just flash the vendor and this ROM and then just flash past reset and then boom, just reboot back into system. And then you should see the ROM booted up. So as you can see, uh, this is, um, so let's go into about phone. By the way guys, if you're enjoying as of right now, please make sure to subscribe and like this video because it does help me out a lot. And so if I go into Android uh, version, as you can see, it is running Perf kernel, which is perfectly all right. So you should expect a good battery backup on this ROM hopefully I just installed it a few minutes ago so I can't tell you guys much but if you go into Android 11 as you can see this is the new animation I don't know how exactly to get that thing yeah there we go and there's this cat so yeah but um, there is also so if I go into settings there are obviously no customizations you can't even change this ugly square shaped icons to anything else because there's no styles and wallpaper app so yeah you can change the wallpaper and you can change a few more things here and there is dark mode which is not true dark mode it's just dark like gray dark gray which is google dark so as you can see um uh, there are a few more options uh, anti flicker mode it does actually work so as you can see it's not flickering right now so yeah that is also great uh, and also once you install this rom there is literally nothing installed so this is all that's installed there's no like there's literally no browser that allows you to download stuff so there is one uh, thing this browser this one but um, it won't allow you to download so i want you to download this app for example it won't allow you to download the apk so you'll need to install the apks via just transfer it via your computer and then you should be good to go do let me know if you uh, are able to use google play services and google play store on this rom so let me know in the description also join my telegram group if you have any questions below because i can give you guys more personalized support there so yeah also one another thing that i noticed was the gestures they are obviously gestures but they feel a bit different than they used to be so they're better it just feels more natural now like they're a bit slower and then just more natural so more like ios so yeah uh, other than that uh, if i go into here also as you can see the pill it's actually perfectly transparent now on Android 11. So yeah, that is a huge, huge thing in my opinion, at least for me. Um, it just looks way better now. So if I also go into, also by the way, the default keyboard is the AOSP keyboard. So nothing special there. But if I go into system and gestures, as you can see, if I go here into, there's this open camera gesture, which works. Gesture navigation, the Android Pie one has been removed, the two, gesture, two button gesture navigation. So that's fine. And if I go here, uh, there's these options if you want to, um, if you wanna, if you wanna change around. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. So don't expect, but don't be, ex don't expect the um, apps to work well. They might work, they might not. So that is totally depending on the app and stuff like that. But yeah, I flashed it like I used, used it 13 minutes, since 13 minutes, and it just dropped 1% or two. So yeah, and that is also a great thing. You, you also have thermal profiles. So yeah, I love this dev. He has done his, he has done an amazing job. Also guys, I forgot to mention this, but I could not find a nearby share anywhere on this rom i guess that's because we don't have any google apps flashed right now but yeah also there's a screen recorder uh, i don't know if it works 
let's actually try that right now so yeah it does appear to be working um i think this is i think this is android 11's one yeah yeah this is actually android 11's one but it does lag a lot when screen recording also i'm sorry for any reflections because i'm just setting up this uh, area also guys i'm not sure if you already noticed it but the fingerprint scanner has been fixed as well and it's actually quite fast so uh yeah that is also one thing that is working and guys there's also one more change that is left i'm sorry if the brightness and stuff has changed let me actually decrease the brightness a bit so there's one more thing and that is uh, the power menu has been obviously changed too so it looks cooler now although i wish this part had been blurred out and not complete black so yeah that um there's also a change and the volume menu it looks a bit ugly but that is uh, the same as it used to be so there are no changes here um but yeah that is basically about it if you do have any questions let me know in the description flashlight works uh i didn't try uh an x camera i'm not sure if it will work but this uh open camera um does work also this uh, menu is a bit different so yeah let's see if the front camera works yep the front camera works as well so yeah i i just am glad that he bought this ROM so quickly for our device. But yeah, that is basically about it. If you have any questions, leave them down in the description or contact me on my Telegram group. All the links will be provided down here. And if you can't find them, just contact me on my Telegram group. But that is basically about it. If you want to see any of my tempered glasses or any of my cases that I use, they're also linked down in the description. But that is basically about it. Uh, this was Ahmed from Mr. Tech Boss signing off.